Aloha and welcome to another edition of Business in Hawaii. I'm Dalen Yanagita and we're broadcasting live from the Think Tech Studios in downtown Honolulu. If you want to tune in live, we are at www.thinktechhawaii.com. You can sign up to get on our mailing list there as well. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to bring you stories of local businesses by local people and our guests share with us their journey to building successful businesses in a sometimes challenging environment. In the Think Tech studios today is Ann Komatsu. Ann is the Executive Director of the Aloha Diaper Bank and Moms on a Mission Hawaii. And thank you so much for joining us and welcome thank to the you. studio. Thanks for having me. Um, I know for a fact that you are involved in just a plethora of mm -hmm. things. Um, <laughs> and I'd like to start by talking about um, your co-foundership mm -hmm. uh, of Moms on a Mission. So myself and a very good friend of mine, actually she's a childhood friend of mine, so we grew up together. She is uh, Roxanne Kimura, and we are co-founders of Moms in a Mission Hawaii. Uh, and we're just moms. We're moms and grandmas now um, of kids. And you know, uh, when moms have good things to share, we kind of have a Cocos Wireless Network and we share it with each other. So that's how we began um, doing Moms on a Mission. So Moms on a Mission started with a need? Yes, it did. It started with a need. Uh, my girlfriend, uh, Roxanne, uh, lost a child um, when she was just six years old. And when she lost that child, um, she saw a need to give back. She wanted to do that to be part of her healing. And uh, one of the houses that we decided to give back to was the Ronald McDonald House. So we thought, OK, let's go up there. And what good things can we do for the Ronald McDonald House and um, help to service them? So one of the things that we talk about on business in Hawaii mm -hmm. is how you started up business. Mm -hmm. um, and in your case, how you started up this nonprofit. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is that like? I mean, how does that, well, how does that you work? Know, <laughs> you know, it was just the two of us starting it. And then um, because of our mission and what we saw that, that, that we could help with the Ronald McDonald House, we actually gathered more moms. So more moms um, actually came on board with us and started helping us to donate to the Ronald McDonald House. So for the past nine years, we've donated so many items to the house to help them with just cleaning the house and making sure that it was healthier and safer for them. So that's kind of how we started, just two moms and starting our mission together. And now it's just going into a way bigger thing. So how old is Moms on a um, Mission? We are nine years old oh, wow. as Moms in a Mission Hawaii. And do you have a membership? Yes, we do. A small membership, you know, uh, about 20, 20 or so moms that come and help, you know, do different projects that we do. And um, it's growing. So now, it's are those projects focused on the Ronald McDonald House? No, that was just one thing that we did. So Moms in a Mission Hawaii, our mission is to share in the community healthier and safer choices that can be made by families. So Ronald McDonald House was one of the choices that we made that people didn't really know about. They didn't know that Ronald McDonald House is a home away from home for six children. So children that live on the outer island or in the Pacific can come to this house with their families and actually live there while their kids are going under treatment. So, um, but it's something that we wanted to get out to the community. We've done other things. Uh, we've done, um, we've supported the, uh, is that are actually wanting to become dentists from the University of Hawaii. Um, it's a pre-dental school. So they actually are getting ready to apply for dental school and they wanted to do a project um, and get dental health out there in the community. So we've supported them. We did a project at Kahala Mall and had them do the whole um, hygiene and dental um, information to the, to the um, people of Hawaii. Then we also did uh, Ho'olunapua. We supported them and getting the word out about them. So human trafficking out there is a real thing and a lot of moms didn't know about it or a lot of moms were kind of like, well, yeah, things like that don't happen here in Hawaii. So we actually approached Ho'olunapua and put a workshop together, had them come in and share with us um, what human trafficking is like in Hawaii. And yes, it is a real thing. Um, just before I came here, I was mentioning to you that I had a mom call me and was very concerned about one of her kids um, Instagram messaging. Um, There's somebody that he didn't even know and sending pictures of himself to somebody that he did not know. So she said, you know, I remember you doing the workshop and I'm so thankful because what should I do next? 
So, you know, um, it's things like that that we want to share with moms out there. So those are three big things that we've done in the community. And um, I think making a difference with moms and families, um, we just find so many things that we can keep on sharing forever. I mean, we, there's so many healthier and safer choices that can be made out there. Anywhere from not only, of course, human trafficking, but also, you know, the things that are happening in the schools and drugs and um, vaping and so many, so many different uh, subjects that we could go on and on and on. So how does Mom on a, Moms on a Mission choose? Well, how, how do you choose what your cause is? Yeah, um, basically we choose, you know, from what we see a huge impact with. Um, we actually go to different places, like so Hole in the Pool, we actually went to them and watched and listened to what they had to share. And when we did that, it was like, oh, wow, this is a huge impact. Um, so the board said, let's, let's do something. Let's get, uh, let's get out there and share it. So we uh, actually also partnered with Shriners Hospital, and they let us come in and use their facilities to put on um, this workshop. Uh, which is another, actually, another cause that we like to share because, of course, a lot of people don't know about Shriners and that they can take their children there that have been injured, right, in sports, and they can help to treat those kids for uh, a low cost or no cost. So um, we were really thankful with Shriners, too. Wow. You folks are <clears throat> such an active group. And well, <laughs> I, so of the 25 members mm -hmm. that make up Moms on a Mission. Mm -hmm. Are all of you um, grandmas now? Or no, <laughs> there's, you know, and some of them are really not moms. Some of them are uh, uh, just women that want to be out there and helping in the community, you know, so, um, and they come in the go in our, in our circle, but um, they, when they are moms, they're anywhere from a young, brand new mom to as grandmas, so, <laughs> so it's a really great diversity in, in age. Dads can be moms too. Yes, dads <laughs> are moms, dads are moms. And um, so we welcome the whole family to come and take part. Very you know. nice, yeah. very, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that you've actually dedicated your life to mm -hmm. community and giving and mm -hmm. giving back. And mm -hmm. What amazing work that you spend your life doing. So I do know that you're also a Rotarian. Yes. Um, which, which Rotary Club do you belong so to? So I belong to the Rotary Club of East Honolulu. We meet at Wildlife Country Club and do a lot of amazing things there too, supporting our community. Tell me about what it takes as a person mm -hmm. to live this life of, of giving. You know, I guess it's the values and the upbringing. Um, I've always, I've come from a family of, uh, all my uncles are firefighters. So every single one of them. And my mom, uh, probably my biggest influence, is uh, always, always been in the community, always serving as the president for this, or the president for that. Um, it's always been unconditional with them, you know? so. For me, it's been like, it, it was just something natural for, for me to just step into. And um, like I was saying, my girlfriend, Roxanne, and I, I mean, we've just come from a service background, I guess. So it just, uh, you know, it made sense to just get out there. And we thought, who's going to listen to two moms, you know? But um, we love Hawaii. We love our grandkids. Uh, we love our kids. Um, not all of our kids live here. Fortunately, they've moved away, some of them, and, uh, but, you know, we grew up here, and we want to keep Hawaii, Hawaii, and we want to help our people. So. That's a good point. So with Moms on a Mission, mm -hmm. um, all of the things that you do in conjunction with Shriners, with Ronald McDonald House, so are those services that are serving Hawaii families? They serve Hawaii families as well as families in the Pacific, so both, you know, so that's great, too, because we do have a lot of Pacific Islanders that come here and, you know, the nearest hospital, I think the greatest hospital, Kapilani Hospital and Shriners can service those children. So it's good that um, they have a place to stay and they have places that can, can help them as families, keep the family together. I think what's nice about Moms on a Mission is that you're, you're that medium mm -hmm. that brings those resources to Hawaii for families in Hawaii. Mm. They don't necessarily have to be Hawaii residents, but right. folks who are experiencing things in Hawaii. Um, and I do know that you have a project, a huge project coming yes. up. 
Um, and that is actually based off of a, a national, a very a large mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. um, which Moms on a Mission is sponsoring. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to go to a quick break. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, I want to talk about your new project and how exciting it is that it's um, coming up on its launch. Yes. Very good. We are going to take that short break, and we'll see you back here shortly. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go Beyond the Lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po. Mabuhay and aloha. Welcome back to Business in Hawaii. Joining us today is Ann Komatsu, Executive Director of the Aloha Diaper Bank and Moms on a Mission. Before we left to break, I, I was asking Ann about um, Moms on a Mission <laughs> and, uh, Hawaii and uh, if, of course, it's tied to a national organization, which it is not. <laughs> And Anne tells me that after some research that there is no other organization like that. I've never seen one yet. I've searched on the web, but I Does haven't seen one yet. Does that mean <laughs> that you're going to roll out the well, I, <laughs> That would be a very big, huge <laughs> undertaking with all of the things that we have. But it would be a great thing for moms everywhere to be an advocacy in, in the community. I think that moms... Moms always have an opinion. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Moms always have an opinion. But they're also passionate about yes. issues that mm -hmm. affect their children. Right. right? And so right. what a great mm -hmm. way to rally membership into mm -hmm. a, a strong organization, mm -hmm. just driving the need for supporting community. Oh, I right. can't wait till you do that. <laughs> okay. So, um, and also before we went to mm -hmm. break, we started talking about Moms on a Mission and how you keep mm -hmm. taking on projects. And <laughs> your newest project, for which you are executive director mm -hmm. of, is called the Aloha Diaper Bank. Yes. What is the Aloha Diaper Bank? So, so you know, we've been out in the community supporting a lot of other things. And we came together and we thought, what is it that Moms on a Mission can get behind? And what can we be a cause for and help with? So we found... A diaper, a, a, you know, one little thing, a diaper out there. And we found the diaper need. So in October, um, Roxanne and I got on a plane to Atlanta, and we went to the National Diaper Bank uh, Conference. Uh, never thought there was such a thing. Never knew of such a thing. a conference for diapers? Um, <laughs> yes. Never, never even dreamed there was such a thing. But we got on a plane, and we went there and met 200 other diaper banks in uh, the United States, wow. all over the United States. Amazing women and men that have opened diaper banks um, around the, the United States. And unfortunately, there are four states that did not have a diaper bank. One of them was Montana. Um, I think uh, another is, uh, uh, I can't remember now, but uh, there were four. And one of them, of course, was Hawaii. And when we saw that, it was like, we need to do something to help um, Hawaii's families that are in diaper need. Now we do have a smaller diaper bank that started in Kona uh, two years ago and they are Hawaii Diaper Bank and I want to give a shout out to them. Uh, that's Jessica and she is a former nurse and she started and she saw the need for diapers in Kona and uh, is actually spread over the, actually the, big, the whole big island of Hawaii and she's amazing woman. Her you know, she's turned her home into the diaper bank, and she drives around and um, supplies diapers to families in need. Wow. So it's great, great, great things like that. So who is a family in need? So a family in need is somebody that is low income or in crisis that needs help in supplying diapers to them. 
it takes about eight to 10 diapers a day for a child to be in. So if you think, maybe we think of 10 diapers a day, um, that's 300 diapers a month. And uh, families are in need out there. One in three families have diaper need. So here in Hawaii, we have about 56,000 children under the age of three years old, and one in three of them are in diaper need. Wow. So that's a lot of diapers. How much <laughs> does a diaper cost? Um, anywhere from, about 100 diapers is anywhere from, you know, $30 to $40 wow. a month. So if you're good and you can go do that shopping at Sam's Club or Target or any of the other stores that are in sale, then you're very fortunate. But a lot of families are not. And a lot of families go without um, food to make sure that their children are you know, diapered. So it, it puts a lot of stress on the, on the child and on the family. Um, food stamps, unfortunately, do not cover diapers. Is that right? There wow. is no um, government assistance that helps to cover a diaper. So that was another big uh, eye-opener for us when we went, went to the diaper bank. So that's very, very heart-wrenching. Heart, uh, the other thing is that if a family does get covered with diapers, it lessens the stress, of course, on mom. So, you know, it lessens that stress on them. The child can go to preschool because they have diapers with them to go to preschool. The families get a much more support and they can thrive from there. Um, other things like children sitting in a, di a dirty diaper all day long really, really um, hampers their health. So we want to help with that. And we are, like I said again, some moms, but we've had so many moms and people come out to support our diaper need. So we just did a huge um, collection this past December. We actually ha asked people to do diaper drives for us. So we had uh, two people do diaper drives for us. One was Hawaii Fitness Now, which is a, just a fitness clinic. He wanted to do something different. And we said, hey, do a diaper drive for us. So he did that. And then we also did, uh, had Hawaii Chiropractic Clinic who did a diaper drive for us. And we collected almost 8,000 diapers. Wow. I think we have some yes, photos of we that do. drive. We do have some Could photos. Could we put those photos up? Tell so us about this, this one. This, this was last week, Saturday. We had a diaper drive, and then what we do is we actually repackage the diapers. Oh. So this is a youth group from the LGS church that wanted to come out and do some service for us. So they came out, 18 kids strong and their leaders, and they started wrapping diapers for us. So we do it, we do it by size. We do it by 25s so that we can manage um, the giving out of the diapers. And this is them packing it here. Okay. I think we have another. And then just some of the diapers. Wow. And um, that's Roxanne, and she's um, helping and teaching them how to wrap diapers. <laughs> and then um, this wow. is all the youth, and this is all the diapers that we collect, <gasps> which is great. So we, uh, we even have a, one of the young men there. He's like, I want to do an eagle project and do a $10,000 10, diaper drive um, wow. for this summer. So it's, it's great. So I hate to ask the question, mm -hmm. but I think this really drives to the point of why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what families do if they don't have diaper resources for their children. Unfortunately, the, um, you know, uh, they, do, they do a lot of things. Number one is they'll keep baby in the diaper all day. So one diaper all day long, which is a, a big health hazard, of course, rash and different things that happen. Um, they'll use other methods. They'll use um, t-shirts, they'll use um, plastic bags, they'll use paper towels, they'll use anything that they can get their hands on to actually type that, yeah. Now, at the same time, too, um, a lot of people ask, well, diapers, I mean, a disposable diaper. You know, how are we going to dispose of the diaper after that? So um, I agree, how are we going to do that? But it really doesn't make sense to do a cloth diaper because uh, people or families who are in low income or in crisis, um, that's just really not um, feasible for them to do. And, you know, in our day, we did try the cloth diaper thing. <laughs> now, if you look for a cloth diaper, it's very, very expensive. Um, and then, of course, laundering it would be just really hard to do. Um, I, I, I hear you, I hear the environment calling because <laughs> we know um, I am all about that also. So I've, I've put it out there, I love to put it out there that, hey, maybe Hawaii could be the one to find out how we can recycle these diapers and how we can turn it into fuel or 
or something. So that would be great if we found somebody to take on that, that project. That is and amazing. Th and and partner with us. That would be so that amazing. That would be so amazing. Yeah, right. it might be a high school kid that comes Maybe, <laughs> you just never know. Yeah. Um, so how do you decide, how do you distribute the diapers? Mm -hmm. So what we do is we work with agencies um, because they work with the families one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So we'll work with the agency, they will call us and say, hey, I've got Johnny, size, you know, two years old, uh, that's in diaper need, and can you go ahead and uh, can we get diapers from you? So we will work with them. Uh, we'll give them a pack of diapers like this, packed in 25s, and it usually uh, 50 diapers will last maybe, um, you know, a week or so. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of a lot but um, at least they'll have diapers for them and we work with them so a lot of times the agencies know their needs and um, it's better for them to be working with the agency so we've partnered with a couple so far we're uh, partnering with Head Start and Early Head Start so we'll be servicing those families but we are looking for partners in the community that we can help to service um, in the few minutes that we have left I want to turn that over to you to do your ask and allow people an opportunity to get in touch with you. Mm -hmm. So if they want to do diaper drives or if they want to learn more about how to get involved um, and, and what's next. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I know that uh, uh, the Aloha Diaper Bank is just launching. Right. Um, April is your big launch. Right. So tell us about how we can support you and, right. and how we can get involved. So April is our big launch. We're actually doing a launch and a fundraiser for diapers. Um, you know, we could buy a whole container of diapers for uh, $6,000 because we're a nonprofit and we could get over 200,000 diapers. That is amazing. And then ship it to Hawaii and then we repackage it. So we are doing a fundraiser called A Night to Remember. It's going to be at the Pomaikai Ballrooms on the 13th. And we're actually bringing in an Elvis uh, live from Las Vegas. Um, he's great. He's the ultimate Elvis. But it's called A Night to Remember so we can remember good times and a great entertainer, but also remembering that one in three families are in diaper need. So that is our launch this coming um, 13th of April. And if you'd like to know more about that, you can go to the Aloha Diaper Bank, um, alohadiaperbank.org, and you can get tickets there. And if you'd like to come out just to support us, you'd love to do a diaper drive. We would love for you to do a diaper drive. And that's also on our website. Is there's a diaper drive, uh, drive toolkit that you can get. And um, contact me. Um, my information's here on the show. And um, I will be more than happy to help with that. Let's get some of your um, email your email yeah, address out there along with uh, Facebook. Where, mm -hmm. where can So where we can are on Facebook. So Aloha Diaper Bank um, on Facebook and Instagram. We're alohabank.org uh, aloha as well. So you can go onto our um, website. And then you can email me if you need to. So annkomatsu.mom at gmail.com. Nice. Um, and just email me and uh, we can get together and nice. help wrap up some diapers. <laughs> Amazing. I want to thank you thank for you. not just being on the show, but for your commitment to living a life of service. Mm. Um, it's, it's moving. It really, really is. Yes. So thank you so much for being <laughs> thank with us. You. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but I want to thank Anne and the amazing production staff here in the studio. Um, the <laughs> Business in Hawaii show airs every Thursday at 2 p.m. And we are looking forward to seeing you here next week.